friends, welcome to another episode of Story Time with Mrs. Selena and Bolt. And I hope you guys are having an awesome fun Friday. And yay, no homework this weekend. So I'm going to be reading One Tiny Turtle. And this book is a non-fiction book, so that means this book is real. Okay, so it's going to have real information about about turtles and it's going to be true information okay all right friends this book is by nicola davis she is the author that means she wrote the book illustrated by jane jane chapman illustrated means she drew all the pictures so at the end of my story i will have a little clip that will teach you how to draw a sea turtle so if you want to try it go ahead and give it a try and if you want me to see your beautiful picture, make sure you send it to me on Class Dojo, and I'll choose one person, and that one person will get to choose the read aloud I will read next week on Friday, okay? And this story I wanted to dedicate to Maria. Maria drew Mrs. Chicken, and she drew the Hungry Crocodile, and she won the competition, the challenge last week. All right, friends, so this is One Tiny Turtle. And I love sea turtles. So let's find, let's find out more about this one. About turtles. Sea turtles are related to tortoises and terrapins. They are all reptiles. Sea turtles are great wanderers, traveling thousands of miles each year, often far from land. This makes them difficult to study. So scientists are only just beginning to find out about their mysterious lives. There are seven species of sea turtles. This book is about loggerhead turtle. The loggerheads live in seas all over the world. So let's learn more about loggerhead sea turtles. Far, far out to sea, land is only a memory. An empty sky touches the water just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is the nursery of a sea turtle. And we have some beautiful pictures in this book. Passing in a boat, you might not notice the turtle, not much bigger than a bottle top. She hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so her shell is soft as old leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open. But the turtle is safe in her world of weed and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimps. Turtles have shells that cover their backs and shells that cover their stomachs. The shells are made from bony plates that get bigger and harder as a turtle grows. So cute. The turtle swims around, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She is flying underwater. She pokes her head, her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a quick breath. So fast, blink, and you'll miss it. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. Fish breathe underwater, but turtles are reptiles and need to come up to the surface for air. They do this every four to five minutes when they are active. So that means when they're awake. When they are asleep, they can stay underwater for hours. Wow, they're really good at holding their breath. For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides out the storms and floats through the hot calms. Steadily, she outgrows her nursery. Nobody sees her leave, but when you look for her, she has vanished all the same. A year or two later, she turns up close to land, bigger than a dinner plate now. She's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor. Her head is tough as a helmet. She grows into her name, Loggerhead. She has come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen eggs and her heavy jaws. But in a week, the feast is over and Loggerhead disappears again. She must have a really strong jaw.
loggerhead wanders far and wide in search of food. In summer to cool seaweed jungles where she finds juicy clams and shorals of sh shrimps. And in winter to turquoise lagoons, warm as a bath where she can munch among corals. Loggerhead may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. Only good luck will catch you a glimpse of her. So she's really sneaky. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then one summer night, she arrives on the beach where she was born. She's found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, feeling the current and the warmth of the waves. She remembers the taste of the water here, and she, I'm sorry, she remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. Male turtles wait just off the nesting beaches they mate with the females, then the females come ashore to lay eggs. So she's getting ready to lay her babies. Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's as big as a barrel now. Floating in the sea, she weighs nothing, but on land, she's heavier than a man. So every flipper step is a struggle, and her eyes stream with salty tears which help keep them free of sand. Coming ashore is very risky for sea turtles. They can easily overheat and die. So they only nest at night or in cool weather. Then they get back to the sea as soon as possible. So she has to hurry and lay her babies before she gets too hot. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach. Scooping carefully with her hind flippers, she makes a step, I'm sorry, she makes a steep, deep hole. Inside, she lays her eggs like a hun hundred squeedily ping pong balls. Afterwards, she covers them with sand to hide her nest from hungry mouths. So she has to hide them. Then longer head, Loggerhead is gone again, back to her secret life. Left behind under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside. Females stay close to their nesting beach for several months. In that time, they usually make at least four nests, and sometimes as many as 10. And before the summer is over, they wiggle from their shells. Turtle eggs in warm sand can be ready to hatch in six weeks. If the sand is cool, they can take three weeks longer. So they have to have warm sand. Ooh. Above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until midnight. Then they burst through the sand and skitter towards the sea. The horizon where the sea meets the sky tells baby turtles which way to turn to get to the water. But street lights and buildings next to the beach can confuse them and make them go the wrong way. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing palms miss only one young turtle. One day she'll remember this beach and come back. But now she dies under the waves and swims, swims and swims, but into the arms of the ocean. Far, far out to sea, land becomes a memory, waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle. So she made it. The end, friends. I hope you enjoyed one tiny turtle. I miss you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye, friends.